Welcome back, everybody, to another of our Overwatch 2 playtests featuring the San Francisco Shock and the Dallas Fuel. This was shot in Hawaii during the playoffs of the 2021 season. I'm Mitch Leslie, joined here by Matt Morello, who performs the short form of his yep, first name. Better not get that wrong. And we are in Havana at nighttime. Yeah, if you heard New York, you understand why. But yeah, the, this is uh, Havana, obviously, a map from Overwatch 1, but uh, completely new lighting, new atmosphere here at night. Uh, just... <laughs> makes it look so like it's it's crazy obviously it looks different you know in the nighttime but it just makes like kind of the ambience and the mood of the whole map feel different right havana when you play it on live very vibrant all the colors and everything and with the way the lighting is around the you know the street lamps and whatnot it's got such a an interesting distinct look to it here now yeah and that more sort of gaudy hotel sort of um you know epic looking building here the lighting of course is much more distinct uh, at night time again many people will probably look at this taking a while to adjust because you just haven't really thought about what time of day it was in havana uh, playing all of those uh matches in overwatch and here we are san francisco are gonna play close they've got the may they've got the symmetrous as a good old classic spawn camp attempt yes yeah, so, uh, we'll get a chance here with sparkle on offense uh with a look at the bastion reworks so oh. you see he's able to move <laughs> while in the sentry form now uh, has a secondary fire that's like a grenade. It can stick to players, bounce okay. off of walls. Uh, and then also the ultimate, the airstrike. But Blister on the Symmetra. Very effective, no matter if you're playing Overwatch 1, Overwatch 2, playing close to the spawn door here on Havana. And you can see that that immortality field is very effective, even against Bastion now being able to take his show on the road, right? Obviously, Bastion not moving all that fast uh, during that turret mode, but being able to relocate is pretty important here out of the gates again there'll still be a bastion for sparkle doha switches over to the main as that may wall goes up just kind of blocks some of the damage coming in from the bastion you see both teams just kind of posturing now it's a it's a tank battle you never thought you would see right i know hanbin on the right are going up against supers ryan as see how aggressive they have him in nice pin there on the fielder they get right up to the spawner they're making this look easy it's much easier to guarantee those close range charges now because you can sort of make your course correction much quicker. Super easily finds that pin now and has already brought up an Earth Shatter. So Sparkle, unsurprisingly, he's going to have to switch to the Faro, but that amplification matrix means he's in deep trouble. Violent able to find the kill. The solo effort here from the Batiste. And uh, with the ant matrix, it really becomes like another damage dealer. Is this, uh, this composition's worked wonders for the Shock, and then they've also been able to hold on to some of these ultimates for some changes out. Uh, from the players on the Dallas Fuel on the red team is what one of the uh, you know best things that I think uh, we've seen so far as uh, you know really well heard is how awesome the new sounds are and the Farah rocket launcher just sounds so sick now. Yeah, it feels more realistic, rattly almost, not in a bad way, in a way that sort of makes sense considering uh, just this transfer of momentum, considering you're literally firing rockets. Nice little spawn camp, though. I mean, they, the, the shock, they're able to bleed like two minutes plus off the clock there, playing very close to spawn. And then we get Glister on the trace, a bit of a signature look for him. Well, you know, it just, uh, I think you said in one of our uh, other casts, right? It just adds a little bit you know, more immersion to it because yes. you play against a Far Mercy, you know, on live, and obviously it's very scary because of the hero combo. But now when you see that, you know, Far Mercy in the sky, and uh, I mean, maybe you deal with it as fast as Tayo did. I know most of the players don't. Uh, you hear the rockets just churning now and it's just it's so much scarier yeah look i think if you're playing a dps you want to feel powerful like you're having an impact like you know i guess you know the impact you're having is proportional to you know the fact that you're firing rockets right uh and i definitely think that that's been captured in a big way here Doha, this is a classic one from him. The Hanzo Dragon Strike going to go through the store here. Sound Barrier going to be used as Super sleeps it off for the time being. The cart's on the move and, well, the Shock are in an odd position here. Yes, this is, I mean, they have pushed all the way up back to the door, right? Past the cart. I think they've really made a difference. Even, like, you wouldn't play this position without, like, the Mei and the Sim and some other heroes that can be used in a more stationary sense, but... Yeah, with the 76, right? The sight lines are really nice here for him, able to put down some damage at range, and then you have Glister being able to finish these kills off. It's possible. All right, minefield available for Han being here, but only 20 seconds are left. He's able to get to the high ground now. Where does he drop down? 
Gonna be an amplification matrix and an immortality field thrown down by the Baptiste. And okay, a trade of kills. Sparkles down, but Violet, the lion's share of healing is missing now for the shock. But Glister finds the finish on Fielder. Now, I mean, the fuel are running on fumes. <laughs> and look at this out of nowhere. It's an RKO from Super. Huge charge. Wow, I am stunned as, you know, uh, a, a lot of these games have been really close between these two teams. I don't know how this one's going to turn out here. Uh, you know, for the shock, but they have put themselves in a fantastic position to win here on Havana. That is, I mean, even by Overwatch Esports standards, this is uh, ext extremely potent defense. Yeah, there's so much more of this map to see by night, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, unfortunately, this is the only time you'll get to witness it because, well, the card doesn't need to be moved through much of the map by the shock to guarantee their victory. So let us now peruse through this distillery phase of the map. All right, so Hanbin on the Diva. Sparkle Widow, that would be nice. Oh, my God, Ooh. I'd love to hear just how powerful her rifle sounds. The Widow's uh, Kiss, of course. It, Maybe we'll see it later. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, speaking to some of the players uh, that had a chance to go, they love the Widow sound of the sniper rifle. They're like, you know, like how I mentioned where the far rockets really kind of put fear into you. Just hearing those cool. bullets ring out from across the map is a, a frightening sight. There's... Shock looked to be running the Bastion here with a May, you know, on the offense. And you can see Bastion's change in that primary fire. Right, so it's like, it's a slower rate of fire, but much less spread. Look at this. You can, yeah, it's like single shot. Yeah, no spread, I believe. No spread. Yep. Feels a little more impactful, I think, than sort of just spraying with a less potency, perhaps. And if you can get an angle like this, right? It's a May wall there almost put up right in front of him, but... You know, being able to move, obviously, still a little bit slower, you know, but being able to move in sentry form, and you get those sure. off angles, you still do tons of damage. Yeah. I used to say that playing Bastion was like playing the cello in a marching band, right? You have to keep setting up and, and moving and setting up again, but now you can do it on wheels. Glister, though, doesn't quite have the torque to get him out of uh, Hanbin's purview, though. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't get the immortality field down, uh, you know, right in time as Sparkle able to control some of the high ground. Uh, but you see, even with the Lucio, right, with how they're playing this composition uh, for the Shock, it's been difficult for them to track down some of the members on the Dallas Heal because they're playing so spread out, right? It's a composition that really wants to you know, play on the individual strengths of heroes in one-on-one -on -one matchups. There's no fuel to Zenyatta left now, and uh, the fuel might want to be touching in just a moment. Doha moves up, EMP, bam. That's massive. Descent health damage, and of course, that initial hack. That's nasty stuff. Sparkle going to uh, capitalize here from the high ground. And Super, Cow is behind his shield. Sparkle deals with Tyre. There's no way they come back and do this, right? I mean, Sparkle has... I mean, he's gonna not going to buy the kill right now. That's Hackfizer. He's half HP. 100 HP and there's a shield in his way. This Gambit might not have paid off. Shield taking Super, a ton of damage, though. Move back. Immortality Field has to be used as a sound barrier, but Glister won't be around to benefit from it. The Transcendence looks much easier to see the area of effect of that ability, and it's enough to force the shock back for now. Yeah, now we're back to an even fight, right? Everybody at full strength. What are we getting close to here? You're getting close to the Glister Pulse Bomb and the Super Shatter, and it looks like they're going to take a, a different angle. Look, this is where Diva's really beneficial, right? You can have, uh, you know, Hanbin play the cart, but also has the mobility to get away. And you have the sound barrier available. Glister, it's a stick. He gets rid of the Soldier 76, oh. and Jexa was very low. That is a game-winning play for the Tracer on the high ground. Self-destruct there, but there's no way Hanbin's going to get back in the mech. It's just Doha on his lonesome. And the San Francisco Shock get across the line. A short-lived stoush on Havana. And the Shock take it away. Thanks for joining us for this preview match from the Overwatch 2 playtest. You can catch more Overwatch 2 action, more from the best pros in the Overwatch League, and more from the two of us right here on the Play Overwatch YouTube channel. Stay tuned and we'll see you then.